just let it go. All right, so now that after the alignment is completed, we can kind of see, so now everything's selected, but if we click somewhere else, we can see as we just kind of browse through here that there are some regions that are not conserved and other regions which are pretty well conserved. This all looks, oh, here we go. This, so this right in here, you can see how the vertical uh, lines of, of color just line up pretty well between the species. Uh, we can also do um, to see the translated protein sequences, all you have to do is just click that tab right there. And here are all the proteins. Again, uh, this region is highly conserved. You can see just by looking at it, just because everything lines up so well. However, if you go towards the end, uh, it starts uh, falling apart. Although you can notice that uh, these three, uh, these bottom three, which are the, the primates and, and the human, they align a lot better than the rest, the cow and the, and the, and the mouse and the rat. All right, so that's how you do an alignment. And we're just going to save this out. Um, this is going to be important in our tree sap analysis. So we're going to export it as a FASTA format. And I'm just going to call this demo align. And I'll put this on the website also. All right, now that we've done that, you can, if you want, you can save it uh, as Omega format, but I, uh, it's easiest just to, it'll ask you to save as a mega format right here, so I, I'll just save it right now. Demo. And then it'll ask if you want to open, uh, oh, this is mega file, save it. I was going to demo. And it'll ask for a title. Yes, it's a protein coding nucleotide sequence data. And then we can open that up. Usually it uh, usually asks if you want to open it. So we're going to browse to where we save this. Open that right up. All right, and here we have the same thing without the fancy colors. So, all right. So now that we have this open, this can uh, this has some information you can uh, learn about that. So the next thing we're going to do is create a phylogeny, which basically is going to represent the relationship between the species. So if you go to the phylogeny menu, uh, construct phylogeny, and uh, you can do any of these. Uh, it's simple, just neighbor joining. Um, you can run that, and it'll pop up the when it'll pop up the tree of um, of the relationship. So you can see here that uh, the homo sapiens, that humans are indeed uh, most related to chimpanzees according to this, and that on the out branches the, the cow is the least related to the rest of these species. But here we have the mouse and the rat that are kind of close together. So when you get a tree like that, it's, it's a good sign that says that your, uh, your data is pretty good and that things are working. All right, now in order to get TreeSap to work, we're going to need specifically two things. One was our saved alignment file, which we already did, and the second one is this tree right here. So we're going to file export as NUIC, and uh, we can just uh, demo tree. I should probably name these more uniquely. But now that that's saved out, um, that's good. Uh, well, we can. We don't really need it. I'm going to save this in case you need it. Um, uh, 
So, close that out. What we're going to do now is uh, find, we talked a little bit about the DNDS ratio, which is the uh, non-synonymous and the synonymous rates uh, comparison. All right, so to find out the rate of DN, or the DNDS ratio, we go to the selection menu item, select the codon base Z test, and the model we're going to be using is, uh, you can select it, it's, a, it's right here, and then this P distance is the one we're going to be using right here. Now make sure that this is, this gaps missing data is set to pairwise deletion, and um, right here we can select our test hypothesis, and then our alternative hypothesis will be in the parentheses. So if we're going to test, if our null hypothesis is neutrality and our alternative hypothesis is that the DN and the DS ratios are not the same, then we select this one right here. So if we run this, so this is basically, uh, we're going to be testing to see if we get values or the probability of neutral or neutrality. So that there are just as many non-synonymous as synonymous mutations. So here we see that um, values, so we're basically looking at values below 0.05, which are significant in this bottom triangle. They're all highlighted yellow. Blue is just the cursor. Uh, and yeah. But um, so here we see that the probability of there just being neutral, of there being the same amount of DN, so non-synonymous and synonymous mutations is zero. So there's a very low likelihood of just, it's just random.